all eyes remain focused on Europe. The European debt crisis has quickly morphed into an existential crisis for the euro area. The taboo of talking about the euro exit or breakup has been broken. A dangerous development, as it could provoke capital flight from peripheral countries. It is clear that time for the eurozone is running out. Policymakers quickly need to come up with credible budgets and economic reforms. Furthermore, a wall of money is needed to calm financial markets. It seems inevitable that the European Central Bank be involved in this, whether it likes to or not. The ECB is the only institution with deep enough pockets to provide the money that's needed. Partly as a consequence of the crisis, the European economy is slipping into recession. We now expect the Eurozone economy not to grow at all in 2012. Looking elsewhere, the US may be able to avoid outright recession. Consumption was quite strong in the third quarter, but the scope for further consumption growth is limited. Unemployment remains stuck around 9% and incomes are barely growing. With stagnation or recession in all major economies, interest rates will stay low. We now expect the ECB to cut its policy rate below 1%, and this is even lower than during the financial crisis. Also, we expect the US policy rate to remain near zero until late into 2013. The world is watching Europe closely at the moment. Failure there would have negative implications for growth all around the world. And that makes failure not an option.